Finn White um, has asked about the motion that was passed at the last Scottish Green Conference in relation to suspending ties uh, with the Green Party of England and Wales. So on the last show of Bright Green Live, we had Guy Ingerson um, yep. on to talk about that motion and, and why that was proposed. Um, but Finn has asked um, uh, how you feel about the motion that was passed at the Scottish Green Party on suspending ties with the Green Party of England and Wales over transphobia. So I supported the motion. Um, I think it is really, really important that we tackle transphobia head on. Um, I think in some ways in the Scottish Greens, we we were lucky. We we got the timing right. We we managed to get our very, very clear position on this. You know, the Scottish Greens will not tolerate transphobia within the party. If a member is seen to be or acts in a transphobic way, we can expel them. And I think that was, we passed that um, policy a few years ago now and hats off to the proposers of that motion because they obviously saw some of the really vindictive and hateful um uh, uh, big bigoted i don't want to call it debate because i don't think you can debate rights in in, in that in that way but the, the the nature of the discussion in scotland and in the uk more generally is so so divisive and so so toxic right now so i'm i'm really glad that we took the decision when we did in the same way as we would not tolerate racism, we wouldn't tolerate anti-Semitism, we wouldn't tolerate bigotry in any other form. Why we why we sh why we should tolerate it when it's targeted at trans people? It, you know, it it it's so obvious and 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 so so clear to me. And I think the Green Party of England and Wales' failure to deal with transphobes within the party is damaging. Is damaging the green movement because we know that social justice and respect for equalities and rights are, are key principles of, of our of our movements of our parties po politics and to say that we won't actually take action when people are acting in bigoted and hateful ways i think i think that that does damage to all of us so yes i supported the motion that guy ingerson took to our conference earlier this year I really, really want to see clear action on be, uh, th that GPEW undertakes to make it clear that transphobia won't be tolerated within within the party. You know, people shouldn't be given spokespeople platforms. They shouldn't be selected as candidates if they are um, spouting hate. And that's what transphobia is. It is hate against an already marginalized and already quite vulnerable group of, of people. We know that within the LGBTQIA plus community, trans people are more likely to uh, think about and then attempt suicide. We know that they are also more likely to be on, be on the brunt of, of abuse, whether that is violence in a home or family setting or out in, in, in public. And we also know that because we haven't, as a society, tackled the transphobic hate that is being spouted on so many different platforms, we're actually seeing a regression in other LGBTQIA um, progress that has been made over decades. We are seeing the same arguments that were mobilized against gay and lesbian people in the 80s and 90s being mobilized against trans people now. We are seeing an increase in um, bigoted violence against gay and lesbian people in Scotland and elsewhere in the UK because we haven't tackled this transphobic hate head on. We absolutely need to deal with this and GPEW should be leading the way on this in, in England and Wales, just as the Scottish Greens have led the way in, in Scotland. And it's because we have that very, very clear position in the party, transphobia will not be tolerated, that we are able to, to take very, very strong stances on things like gender recognition reform a, a bill that is currently going through the Scottish Parliament at the moment so it is it is really really important and I think GPW needs to consider not only how its failure to act has impacted on trans people in England and Wales but also how their failure to act um, has has had an impact a negative impact on the wider green movement and, and the push for social justice so so yeah I think you know, I'm grateful to Guy to for, for for proposing the motion and actually getting us talking about this, because if it were if we were talking about racism, if we were talking about any other kind of prejudice or bigotry, surely there would be no question. But because we're talking about trans people who, for some reason, some people don't see as 
credible, as worthy, as legitimate. I think, you know, we, we really we really do need to tackle this head on. Your comments there have been met with a wave of agreement from the chat on YouTube. Um, so okay. rest assured that uh, Bright Green's audience uh, very much supports that. Okay. Uh, Finn White, who asked the question, has said, thank you, Maggie. Steve says, uh, couldn't agree more. Um, and uh, this segues quite nicely, actually, because later on the show, we're going to be speaking to Ria Patel, who's oh. the Green Party's Equality and Diversity spokesperson, specifically about how the Green Party in the Wales can um, tackle issues of transphobia. Um, but sorry for putting you on the spot on that. I know that wasn't no, what I invited all. you on. Not at all. Um, I mean, there, there, there's one other thing I, w- I would say on that, actually. I think w- one of the things that I, I, th- I think there were some concerns when, when Guy proposed his motion that we were somehow turning on back, uh, turning our backs on the trans community in England and Wales. That's absolutely not the case. You know, a, a, as an ally to the LGBTQIA plus community, I have and I will continue to reach out and support in whatever way I can and whatever way they tell me is appropriate to uh, to trans people in, in England and Wales. And I think actually the, the, the most the, the thing that I can do as an ally is is stand up and say, no, we won't tolerate hate. We won't tolerate um, any form of bigotry in our political structures, in our party structures. And so I see my, my allyship as being something that transcends um, party membership, party allegiance, and also the, 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 the structures that, that we have within our parties. So just, just to say to, to, the, to the trans community in England and Wales, you have very, very strong allies in Scotland, and we are rooting for better and fairer um, processes and, and systems within GPEW and within uh, society more, more generally. We, we, we are trying to do what we can in Scotland, but we, we stand in solidarity with you in, in England and Wales too.